Hello, everybody. You're watching The Fear of Frontier, and you're watching me, Spline Apple, host it. Today's video will be a bit different than what we've done in the past. We're talking about an event from the year 2018, and we are conducting our first interview. We chose to interview Poriman, one of the founders of Firo, about something Firo played a role in, the election for the Thai Democrat Party. Especially since Firo's audience has grown and changed a lot since rebranding from Zcoin to Firo, we thought we should revisit the world's first large-scale, blockchain-based political election. It's going to be a good time. So make sure to watch until the end. If you're hearing about this for the first time, in November of 2018, Thailand's Democrat Party held a primary election for its party leader, and they worked with Firo, known as Zcoin at the time, to set up a voting system using blockchain. They did this because they wanted an anonymous yet verifiable system that could be kept safe from tampering without needing to trust a single administrator. More than 120,000 votes were cast in this event. There are several articles and other videos that can fill you in on this event further, and we'll link those in the description. But right now, we can hear about it straight from the source. So without further ado, our first interview. All right, well, first of all, Foreman, it's good to meet you. I've heard a lot about you, and it's a pleasure to have you on the first interview for the Fiero Frontier. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. We're going to be talking about the Thai elections, which happened a few years ago. And the first thing mm -hmm. I wanted to ask is, how did this happen? Who reached out first to get this done? So basically, at that time, one member of the Thai Democrat Party contacted me regarding auditor, like, security voting system audit to make sure that the system is secure enough to prevent hackers to hack that system. Because the initial idea itself is the Thai Democrat Party from outside perspective is about like old school and conservative and not technology oriented. So they want to change outside perspective regarding our party itself. So they come up with the way that they're going to introduce uh, electronic voting so that people will perceive them as a party that apply or using technology to do something new. So that's why they decide to do the electronic voting. But when one of the members contact me, it's about like getting me involved as an auditor of the system itself. So once I get involved with them, rather than become just auditor, I also give them recommendation as well. But once everyone realized that this system is not designed properly since the beginning. They decided that they want to change the whole system by using blockchain technology to make sure that no one in the party be able to change the data regarding the, the voting. Okay. And so were you involved with Firo at the time when they had asked you about this? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, they asked me because apart from the Firo itself, I also get with it uh, as a information security specialized. So that they asked me for that. And then just in case our viewers don't know, but can you explain a little bit about your background and like the qualifications that you have? Like basically during that time, I used to work at Microsoft before as a software developer, like software engineer in testing team. Basically, how to make sure that the software have the quality to ship out. So that include about like the warranty inside the software as well. And at the same time, I get accepted from John Hopkins in security informatic field. I learned a lot about like how to penetrate the software or website. I also working with Royal Thai Armed Force about cybersecurity warfare as well. So. That is pretty much my background regarding the cybersecurity. Cool. All right. Well, that's awesome. The next main question that I have, I think you kind of addressed this a little bit because Fear was known as Zcoin at the time. But why did they want to use Zcoin? Why didn't they approach a different blockchain group? Because with the zero point protocol itself, it doesn't show that who is voting for which candidate. That one is quite perfect for voting. But the point is, that's why I propose to use uh, Zcoin technology to do the voting stuff and they agree with. But at some point, they change their mind that they want to do the voting that still be able to track. At least you need to have five people that side and agree that they want to open the data like to check whether who is voting for whom to make sure that this one is voting is not hackable or 
at least they still have some data to track. That's why it's something that even though I want to do quoting that use zero point technology, but turn out later on, it needs to change the requirement. Okay. How were the votes verified as legitimate? Just using zero coins tech? Was it Sigma at the time? So at that time, if I remember correctly, it's still using zero coin. But the point is, even though zero coin is still there is a research paper from, I think, U of Tokyo. There is some professor that tried to using zero coin protocol to do what thing stuff. So that's why it's something that inspired C coin team that, or Firo team that we can do the what thing with the current blockchain that we are using. Either like Sigma or zero coin is still be able to achieve the same goal. Right. Do you actually have access to that paper? I've read like the zero coin Sigma and a couple one out of many proof papers that you guys have. And I'd be interested in reading that one and maybe providing it to anyone who watches this sure. as well. That'd be awesome. Sure. Another big question. How would e-voting work now with Firo since we're using Lelantis? Would Elysium be a huge part of that? So at that time, I saw there's a demand for many private companies that they want to do the electronic voting. But we need to remember that in order to vote, you need to have point basically. And in this case, we cannot use Firo as a point to voting to someone because it's going to cost a lot. Let's say if we give them like one Firo, that is going to cost around like 10 US dollars already. So we need to have some platform that allow them to issue a token that can utilize Leland Dust protocol to do various things, include the voting as well. And they don't need to pay actual fee, they just need to pay for the fee, transaction fee. That is, I think is less than two cents for the transaction. That's what is quite practical. Just in my yeah. opinion, that's why I need to come up with the Elysium one. Okay, that's awesome. So what effect do you think that this election had? Do you think that other countries saw this and like, okay, maybe this can be used? When I involved with the High Democrat Party election, I saw one problem that is beyond technology. It's about trust and is political and I see that as a technology provider, I don't want to get involved with either candidate, which one like mm. that I'm going to support. Yeah. And with every move that they see as outside, they will think that whether legitimate or trustworthy or not, or inclined with another candidate or not, is something that is quite hard to work in with politicians as, right. as far as I know, because everything that you did, it's going to be suspect that you were doing in favor of another candidate. Yeah, if there's any bias or something. That, that's very yeah. tricky, actually. So are there currently any plans to use Firo or Elysium for future elections as of now? So I think in Thai at the moment, mostly the voting is going to go to private company. Okay. So it's something that once we release Elysium, that's one will be a use case because in Thai, in general, Every public company need to do like a GM, we call general meeting every year, at least one time a year. So with the GM itself, with that meeting, you need to do some voting stuff. So that's why we think that using Elysium to do voting with a private company, maybe is more practical when we're going to approach rather than waiting for national election. So with the private company voting stuff, that consider is more practical and it's easier to implement for them as well, rather than go to many people that having bad with the technology provider as well. But this general meeting is something that is quite small, but still having some stake for the voting result as well. And as for now, we have almost 1000 public company in Thailand. So I think with voting staff using Elysium, and like Leland Touch Protocol, at least people are going to know about electronic voting by using Firo. Okay. Yeah, getting the name recognition, but like being known for something that's huge, especially because Firo is trying to grow. I mean, every public company around the world going to do the general meeting. So I think, let's say in the US, you're going to do the general meeting as well. And with the COVID, you need to do some kind of electronic voting for sure. Oh, yeah. So okay. so I think with the direction that we go to like a private company and support them with the general meeting during the COVID or even in the future, 
this one is going to 100% utilize blockchain technology in the useful way rather than waiting for national election. When people were voting during the Thai elections, did they like do it from their phones, their desktop? How did they interact with the blockchain? So during that time, they did it from Raspberry Pi um, oh. because like we try to come up with the mobile application, but due to short time for us to develop the mobile app, and even though we finished development, it still took some time to get Apple to approve our mm. app. So, so that's why we have some people that using Android to do the voting. But I think mostly people that using iPhone cannot work because we don't have enough time to probably the app into yeah. the iPhone. And for the Raspberry Pi, it's like a small computer that right. we put into a box and people are going to see that this one is a box that can do both. So would there be a place where this Raspberry Pi was that people would go to? Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's like a working station that okay. uh, have the internet connection. Meaning that like once people go to the station and did the vote to the Raspberry Pi, the information will basically put into the blockchain immediately. Okay. That's interesting to hear about the logistics. Did Apple ever wind up approving it or did they just never respond? So it takes some time for them to approve. Normally, I mean, with every app, it's going to take at least like two weeks to do the approve. That's what is their first step. But once your app is already approved, it's going to take around a week to approve if there is an upgrade. So that's why for us, it's something that we don't have. We have the requirement yeah. changing in the last minute, like two days before. Yeah. And it's something that everything is become a problem that we don't have time to get Apple to approve us. Okay. Well, that makes sense. The last question I have is other than e-voting, what else would you like to see happen with Eros blockchain and the technology like Elysium, Atlantis? What would you like to see in the future? So right now, I think people talking about DeFi a lot, decentralized finance a lot. I think as a field, we are focusing on privacy. And I think a lot of DeFi application right now that become top 10 DeFi project is still not focusing on privacy at all. I think in the future, Firo itself can put itself into privacy for DeFi. That is going to be, I think, in the future for sure, but maybe not right now. Yeah, that's a really good point. We did a video a while ago on DeFi. My knowledge base of it isn't super huge, but I can definitely see applications of ways that you can kind of combine the two and try to get the best of both worlds. But yeah. awesome. So that's pretty much all the questions I have for you, Poraman. So I want to thank you so much for coming onto the Fiora Frontier. We really appreciate it. All right, then. I hope you enjoyed that. Who else would you like us to chat with? What other topics should we cover? Which episode of the Fiora Frontier has been your favorite? Your input is incredibly helpful. So let us know your thoughts in the comments. That's all I have for you this week. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification. This is Swineapple. Signing off.